Hey guys, David here, back with another video, and today I will be talking about a topic that uh, I feel that should be kind of spoken of in regards to uh, disabilities. So I feel like I should talk. I should uh, kind of emphasize on relationships and friendships in regards to those with disabilities. Um, as a child, um, I grew up, you know, fairly, fairly normal, you know, I went to school, um, had, had friends and everything, and, um, sometimes, you know, when you're somebody with a disability, I feel like it's harder for someone with a disability to kind of develop a friendship with someone, or, fr or multiple friendships, if you suffer from, you know, something like social anxiety, or you're not used to being around so many people. Um, when I was younger, uh, I had maybe uh, quite a few friends, not too many because I wasn't social back then. But for me, um, at the beginning, part of the reason that I didn't have very many friends, you know, starting out, was pretty much uh, my disability. And, you know, having CP, you know, when you're, when you're a child and you're dealing with this disability on your own as a child, and not many people around you understand what it is, it makes it really difficult to just get out there and be yourself. Um, as, and as I got older, I started to, hey, I started to say, hey, you know what? Maybe if I talk about it, maybe if I educate my classmates before the school year starts, they might be able to understand. And that's where they can start, you know, coming up to me and maybe starting a conversation and eventually a friendship. So um, every school year that I had, I was in elementary, middle school, and even high school, uh, I spoke about my disability and eventually I had a few friends each year come up to me and or a few people come up to me each year and they've got to, they got to meet me and uh, they got to know who I, how I was and I made friends with them and, and fast forward to today where um, now I'm social, I have a ton of friends um, I have a few, well, I have a close-knit group that I have and friends outside of that circle that I know, uh, acquaintances, uh, people that I work with that I'm real close with that I, you know, I consider friends. Um, yeah, I mean, um, one of the things that I learned is you can't let your disability hinder you from developing a friendship with someone. Um, same as relationships. Uh, I spent years uh trying to nav trying to uh navigate those waters didn't get much luck until after college um when i left uh college i did meet somebody uh it was you know it was great for a couple for a couple weeks a couple months um unfortunately it didn't work out but there's no there's no shame in it not working out because um i was able to get through the experience um, I now know that I'm capable of, uh, getting into a relationship and there's no, there's no, there's no shame in being single and enjoying life because when you, when you enjoy life, instilling positivity in others and making others lives better, eventually new doors open for you and you reap the rewards. Um, remember, remember this. It's always better to give than to receive. Because if you receive all the time, you're not really making a difference. You just, I feel like you're just taking advantage of the situation. You're not there to, um, you're not there really helping. You're essentially harming yourself. You're, 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 you're uh, basically holding yourself back from your real potential. Um, always remember that you're, 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 you're valuable. You know, you have so many different skills, so many different assets that any individual you might meet, uh, might find, you know, those qualities great. You know, everybody has a different sets of standards, different sets of qualities, different skills, and some people might, might find attractive. Some people might not, you know, you have to understand that there's a balance. There's always boundaries. Um, yeah, and as a, as 
as a child, you know, I decided I just had to learn how to balance all that and find an understanding to deal with that um, kind of situation. Um, and just by opening up and being myself and teaching people about my disability and just just uh, seeing each and every day the, the impact, the positive impact that I've been able to bring everybody has been has been awesome. I mean, I, I honestly, when I started this uh, two years ago, I mean, I used to speak here and there before, but when I started this two years ago and I was able to get a couple speaking engagements here and there, uh, get the opportunity to talk about myself and to have people learn and to see people, have people tell me, hey, this, this pushed me to do, to open up my own business or this pushed me to do this one skill I wasn't able to do before. Or uh, this helped me boost my self esteem, and now I don't feel uh, horrible about myself. I feel I feel better about myself as a person and as a human being, and that's what is the the best thing about what I do with this fitness blog and um, you know all the comments that you guys leave me. I always try to respond to them, and it's it's and I have people share their own stories in their comment section and that's always it's always a good feeling when they get to share those comments with me and those stories of success and some stories of you know of obstacles and I get to kind of help them guide them out of there and achieve success that is what it's all about um that is what I do and and that's what I can what I will continue to do until um until you know People, people don't don't necessarily need me anymore for advice. They can do it on their own. I'm just there to guide to guide you and to help you. But at the end of the day, you're the one achieving success. Always remember that. Um, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, uh, subscribe below, and if I can do it, so can you.